This is Dungeon Corridor Part 1, and we're going to start with the blockout modeling for this new scene. I'm going to select everything and delete it and get started by pressing 1 looking at the front. So I want to look down a corridor through some arches, so I'm going to create an arch. So I'm going to bring in a circle, and I'm going to leave it at the default of 32. I'm going to edit mode and RX 90 and then box select these bottom vertices and get rid of those. I'm going to take this and then pull it up, select these bottom vertices and bring them down. So that's going to be my arch. With those two still selected, I'm going to press Shift S, cursor is selected, make sure my cursor is there and turn this to 3D cursor. So my pivot point is right there. I'll use that in just a moment. I'll give this some depth, so extrude like this, so that's going to be the size of my arch. And now I'm going to look from the front and press E and Alt S, and I'm going to push and come out and create my arch like this. All right, I may take this up a little bit and in wireframe box like these and pull them down a little bit more to the potential ground. So I have a number of these arches going down. The next thing I'm going to create, however, is the actual walls and ceiling. So I'm going to shift alt and click and grab that edge. I'm going to use that shift D to duplicate and pull it out a little bit. I'm going to switch back to into BD and point, however, and I've got that as a separate object. Do I? Let's make sure I do P and break it out. Now that's a separate object. Go into edit mode for that. Look from the front. I'll press 1 for vertex selection so I can see it. And I'm just going to press S and scale it down just a little bit. I probably should have left my 3D pivot right there. So I'm going to bring the, the cursor there again and go back to 3D cursor. It's a little bit easier if I do it that way. And I'll scale this down just a little bit so that most of the arch is, is uh, inside this. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create, wait for the car to go by, I'm going to create a stretch of the dungeon corridor. I'm just going to pull it down like this and we can adjust that in a bit. So if we look in, it's going to be uh, like that. Okay, that's okay like that. So let's see here. What I will do is, this is actually going to be somewhat longer. I can now go back to median point. I'm just going to pull it down like that. And I'm going to take this guy and I'm going to pull him down so that when I look in, I'll see that. I'm going to array these along. I may not keep the array the whole time, but for now I will. Uh, just to get a sense, I want them evenly spread out. So I'm going to switch this to the Y. So I'm going to do something like 10 and zero here. I'm going to want three of these. And 10 seems like a relatively good number. What I want is this to come just a little bit past that last arch. So let's go inside and see what we think of this. I'm looking to see that it looks roughly equal, you know, uh, of the exposed arch here and on the sides. And it's not bad. And this, however, I'm going to select this front. Um, yeah, I can extend like that. And we could look inside and see that. No, this can all be adjusted. So let's start with that. Now, as I look at this, I can see that some of the arch is not is outside, but more is outside here. So what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to take this, I'm going to pull it up a little bit and sort of get it even like that. And then I can take the bottom of this here. I'll just select the bottom edges. And I'm actually going to want to have snap ready to go. So I'm going to switch this to edge. And I'm going to take this and just pull it down and hover my mouse over there and press control and snap. And that's I think that's a little bit better. Now, with respect to the arches, we don't need all these faces. So let's come in and select those bottom faces and delete those. I will leave the the back faces on. Where I really want to bevel though is this edge and this edge. All right, so I'm going to come in here and I'm going to control B and pull and I want to have three edges in there. That's good enough. It'll be smooth, but I don't need much of a bevel. And if I really care, I can delete these outside ones here. 
all right by getting rid of these ones when I do the shift alt and click it doesn't wrap around and go on all of them so I can get rid of those I never see those and I can take this and shade smooth and I may need to put on way to normal and normals auto smooth and it didn't really do any good for me so I'm not going to worry about that let's just take that and shade smooth but let's make sure that things are flipped the right way so this thing is backwards so let's select it in alt n and flip and now we can look down the tunnel and see so I'm going to want some stuff along here okay that's a good that's a that's a decent start so I'm going to save that all right the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to drop an edge loop along here and I'm going to let's see I want a piece of concrete uh, down here so this is going to be all bricks and some concrete here and I think that's not a bad position maybe up a little bit and really I think I'm going to mirror this so let's do that this is going to be my center there so I'm just going to look from the front in wireframe and one for well, one for vertex selection and box select and I'm going to delete those and I'm going to add a mirror just like that and it'll enable me to come in here and uh, turn off the mirror so I can just work on the side all right so I'm going to select this face here and yeah I think I'm going to do it like this I'm going to extrude it out like that and I'm going to want this to come out about yeah, let's see come out around there now I'm going to delete that face and I'm going to come back to this end and delete that face we're not going to see those and I'm actually going to break this out P to break it out like that as part of this so I'm going to uh, get rid of that I want to create a lengthwise separator on here so I'm going to use this piece I think shifty to duplicate it. it's going to pull it up and pull it out to it's about halfway uh, out of the arch P to break it out and take this I'm going to scale that in the Z. I'll go to about there and I'm going to extrude this back a ways. And I'm going to get rid of that face. And that face. And let's have a look at this. Let's select the whole thing, Control L, and just push that in. And now let's bevel this by selecting that edge and that edge and control B and pull and I just want three edges in there and this piece here I can actually delete this top face right there I won't need that so that will have concrete and concrete there I just want to look at the distance yeah I have a little space in there and that's touching and that's good like that and so this I'm going to have the mirror on for that Let's turn the mirror on for that and for that. And so this is what we're getting so far. I'm going to have another piece that comes along here and that goes over these uh, pieces there. So I'm going to do that now. And the way I think I'm going to do that is I'm going to take this whole edge, shift D to duplicate it. I'll pull it out a little bit, pull it down just a little bit. And I'll, I'll come up with a place for it, but I'm going to break it out. So that I've got this, I'm going to come back to here and turn the mirror off so I can see what I'm doing. All right, I'm going to turn the mirror off for that as well. And I'm going to look from the side. I think I'll go into wireframe and, and go into edit mode on this guy here. So this is what I've got here. So I'm going to, um, we're going to subdivide uh, two times press one for vertex selection so I have these vertices I'm gonna pull it past here and past here and I use these to adjust this and I'm actually gonna drag this up I'm just gonna build this region right here so uh, I can't really see that too well so I'm going to grab this edge and I'm gonna extrude it in the Y like this so it pokes forward now I can sort of adjust this so I'm going to pull it back a bit and grab that edge and pull it out again. So I have this. 
Now I want to focus on this piece here, slash key, come in and I'm going to select that edge and delete that edge. And now I have this, which is what I wanted. I'm in edit mode and I'm going to extrude, just give it a little bit of height so I can see this thing and bring it back so you see what I created. Now I can pull these in. I just want to get this general idea. And once I've got it, I can copy it down a little bit further. Okay, so with that done, let's try solidify. And I think the best way is to come outwards like that rather than going in. Do I care? Well, maybe going in is okay. It'll save me a bit of work. I'm going to put on even thickness. And just get a thickness that I like. And then I can come back in here and I can box select these and just tighten it up a little bit and loosen it up as well where I need to. You know, pull that out. That kind of a thing like that. Let's have a look here. Something like that. Okay, so if I like that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this whole thing and shift it and duplicate it just more than I need. And I'll grab these and pull them down, take the whole thing here, bring it in, and now I'll just position this one the way I like it, and I'll join them up at the, in the end. Yeah, I do think it maybe it is a little bit loose still. Maybe it needs to come in, and then so maybe the other one does. But I can adjust those individually, really, if I need to. So let's take that. Let's uh, Control L to grab that piece. Shift D to duplicate. Pull it down. Get it on this one. I'll do something a little bit different on this one here. Um, Let's say we have that. Delete those vertices. We're not going to see past that. And then I'll just take these and I'll control E, bridge edge loops. And then in edge selection, actually I'll have to do it this way. I can uh, dissolve edges. I won't need that. And let's grab these and bridge edge loops. And then grab these and dissolve edges. Let's just double check this. It looks okay. And it goes to the other side. Let's just have a look at this. Now, is that where I'm going to want it? It's about where I'm going to want it. Okay. All right, let's give that a try. Uh, I'm going to apply that slash key to focus on that. And let's get rid of this face here. I can actually get rid of the back faces. I'll do that in a minute. Let's get rid of this one here. And let's see if I do that. Do I get more than I need or just the back faces? Looks like I get just the back faces. So I'm going to delete those faces. Then I'm going to come in and let's have a look at these corner pieces. I want to bevel them, but just a little bit. So I'm holding Shift and Alt, and I'm clicking these. All right, let's. Do, I'll just look at this one. I want a small bevel with three, just something like that. So there's something, and then Shift Alt to click the upper edge, and I'll zoom in over here. And I want a small, small bevel. Okay, it's not working there. So let's do that again too much hold down shift just a small bevel like that I can shade smooth and I can put on weighted normal and normals auto smooth and see if that clears it up a little bit let's slash key to bring things back and of course I can still tighten it if I want to but I'm not sure that I need to let's turn the mirror back on for that and this should be mirrored as well and so this is what we're getting so far. Let's throw in a floor now. Let's take uh, this edge here and Shift D to duplicate it. I'll pull it out a bit, P to break it out. Let's take this and extrude into the middle. It'll clip and join. 
let's take this and pull it back and hold uh, control as I hover over there and that would be my floor I will get rid of the seam later on all right so we could be in here um, I'm gonna want this to be open here and like a little hallway that comes down here like a T and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this floor actually and I'm going to shift D to duplicate it and pull it down here and I'm actually going to I'm gonna apply the mirror and uh, let's get in here and let's get rid of that for now for this piece dissolve that edge take this and rotate Z 90 and bring it in and just snap it to there and let's see that's about equal right but I think I'm gonna want this twice as wide I think uh, so I'm gonna try that distance because we're gonna look down here and and then I'm gonna have the back wall back there so I think that's gonna be okay so what I'm gonna do now is let's merge by distance and let's uh, let's get rid of that edge and let's take this edge and let's extrude it up for a, a back wall and I'm gonna make it higher than this I'm not gonna close anything off let's just see if we look through it looks like you just see a back wall and I think you do and a little bit of a hallway okay so let's go with that and then let's take this trim and shift D to duplicate pull it out P to break it out or this already is broken out I guess get rid of the mirror and take that and rotate Z minus 90 and now flip it around take this and snap it to the back wall all right uh, but I'm gonna snap to that edge and it's the same width but I'm not gonna leave it at that height I don't think uh, the exact same height I want to put something under so I'm gonna pull it up as I look through and I'm gonna do a, a, an arch like thing right there so that's good so far so now with that done let me maybe take the arches and I may have to rebuild the top I didn't think about that I'm going to shift D to duplicate pull them out I'm going to break the array take this and pull it back here and then I think I can get away with scaling it I just want to see what it's going to look like I, yeah I do want it thinner and it's going to come down like this and yeah it's going to be all right I think it's all going to be okay so let's rebuild this easily by shift alt and click there and there and control E bridge edge loops and we can yeah that's that should be okay we can shift alt to click this and this the only thing is where the bevel is let's just pull those up and pull them down so I've got a bevel on this edge and I on the other one uh, so I'm going to bevel this maybe a little bit different than the other one but that's fine I'm going to do that and uh, let's get this so it just pushes through I can delete the back ones we will do that I'll delete those back faces and there's a little bevel on there and I don't think that's going to cause me any grief at all so then that and we'll cut a hole in in the here later but for the moment I'm going to bring my 3d cursor there what did I do what was that <laughs> right. and I will bring in a cube and scale it down make some bars I will make them out of cubes and yeah let's scale on this a little bit get it going I'm going to bring that in but delete that face and I'll adjust the size of this in a second you know what let's focus just on those two things there okay let's look from the front and let's bring that down I can snap to there and I'll get rid of that face I just want to take that and scale shift Z maybe a bit and um, I think I'll bevel all of the edges I was thinking of just doing the fronts but you never know I might see it a little bit on the side so just with three like that let's move it over here and let's see to about there and let's array this and see what I want that's four I really would like at least five so I'm going to scale shift Z and see let's look right from the front how that looks I may decide it doesn't look right to, to me later or maybe actually what I need is to bring them closer and do that so, 
Yeah, I think the bases are almost equal. Slash key to bring everything back. And let's just look down here. Yeah. Let's, before we go any further, look and see who's flipped these guys. So all 10 recalculate outside. And that one. Uh, this is a, just a wall and floor. So, and I will be breaking out walls and floors later, but I'm just going to flip them. And this one, which is mirrored, and I'm going to flip that. And everybody's okay again. Okay, we can try looking at this with a matte cap, maybe maybe this one for the moment and maybe turning on the shadow and uh, this is this is what we're getting for our dungeon so that's good that that this piece peeking out and we'll do a little bit more and uh, we don't have to do too too much this time uh, I'm gonna have some lanterns hanging and so when I was thinking for this Let's make it easy on ourselves and slash key and turn off the array. And now I'm just thinking of actually mirroring this now that I think about it. So let's do that. Let's come in. 3D cursor's right in the middle. Let's grab this. Delete that. And we will put on a mirror here. I'll turn on clipping. Make sure everything looks good. Yeah, okay. So, let me turn that off for now. All right, anyways, here's what I'm thinking. I'm going to grab a, a, a spot there and bring my 3D cursor there. And I haven't quite figured out, that's not what I want, how I want these lanterns to hang, what the connection is going to be. So for now, I'm just going to do something like this. I'm going to take this back and pull it in and delete it and this is going to come out and make that a little bit bigger and I'm going to take the whole thing shift D, duplicate pull it down look from the front I'm going to scale it down and rotate like this but I'm going to break this out and take this and just start getting an idea of a position like that this one actually I would probably angle down um, I still want to make things harder for myself when it comes to deciding what I'm going to do but I think that's okay and let's have a look at this I can switch this over to normal if I want pull that under I think I will go ahead with that and I don't have ends on those uh, along that line to start off let's bring back uh, that and that and see that one. that's gonna stick out too far and that's exactly what I wanted to see so I'm gonna select there and I'm going to bring that back and then I, I'm just gonna work on this whole thing okay or I might just scale that down bring that up and back um, I'm going to join those and try just with the bevel modifier 0 0.01 these may be made of wood um, and, I, and so I may this is a block out I may go back in and chop it up and move it around and stuff I may not I might put some metal supports and decide that it looks okay I'm gonna hang the lantern on there uh, so let's try uh, so I got a bevel on there. It makes it more difficult to just join them. And uh, by the way, if I see this little thing, I'm just going to move the mirror up to the top there. Okay. Well, let's try something here. Um, I'm going to bring my 3D cursor right there and create some kind of... Uh, chain and I may do it out of a plane let's see it's not going to be really low poly or anything um, just like this press uh, my in edit mode now I am one uh, okay shift control B to round these vertices I'll go for five and um, 
I'll, I'd inset, pull it in. Actually, S to scale, X faces. Let's see if I like this at all. Oh, yeah. Let's go back to global. Just make some kind of something like this and extrude up. And now I'm going to bevel all of these edges here. I probably can get away with just three. Well, not, you're not going to see it up super close or anything. Let's put this on. Um, okay, let's just start this. Let's uh, rotate Y90, and I'll, I'll pull it down this way. Let's see. I don't know if you like that, chain. I just felt like I didn't want something to want it round. Let's take the whole thing and uh, duplicate it a couple of times, and then just play with scale and stuff like that. Okay, uh, let's rotate this now. Rotate X90 and scale it down. Put this under here somewhere. You can position it better later. I just want to get some ideas for this. And I'm going to bring back uh, the other stuff because I want this lantern to hang. Yeah, I want this all this stuff actually to go up higher than it is. So I'm going to grab it and pull it up like this so that when the lantern hangs let's get in there it doesn't hang down too low so i'm going to bring it actually a tiny bit higher a little, little bit higher like that and i'm going to make this chain a little smaller so the lantern's going to hang uh, just around here and a little bit lower than that Okay. So I'll come up with a better attachment for that soon. So let's just see what a mock lantern would look like. And then that will be that pretty much. Um, let's focus on this last chain. Uh, there we go. And bring my 3D cursor there. And basically the lantern would be something like Circle will go for eight vertices. Scale it down. Okay, I'm going to press F to make a face. E to extrude. Okay, E to extrude again and scale in like that. Let's take this bottom face. I to inset and I'll just push it up a little ways. I'll do a bit of a bevel on this. Let's bevel these two here with three. And we're also going to bevel this one with three. And I'm also going to bevel all these edges as well. So I'm holding shift and, and uh, alt. I always get that messed up when I try to explain what I'm holding. Uh, I'm going to do that. All right. And then we'll, we'll just figure out the size of this thing and how it's going to connect and how many chain lengths I want it to be. So I'm going to take that for now and shift D to duplicate it, pull it down, and rotate X 180. For the bottom of it and on the bottom i'm actually going to make a bit of a change i'm going to select here and shift and, and control plus a few times control minus so they're not a much of a change i just want to do this and just make it a, a little bit different that's all i'm going to bring in another circle with eight scale it down i think i want to do it a little bit different so let's, let's just get that to the approximate size that we want like that and then extrude down. No, it didn't work well, so now we'll extrude down. Yeah, like that. And then, then what I'll do is I'll select these faces here. No, you know what? I'm first going to put an edge loop and pull it up to there like that. And I can adjust the position of this, you know, stuff. Perfect. And then I'm going to, uh, in face selection, shift alt to click there. And then I press I twice inset twice and pull in like this okay so I get a space and then I'm going to delete those so I have this and then I'm going to E and alt s and pull to pull it in to give it some thickness and I'm just looking sort of here and how it's going to be um, and I think that's going to be okay let's just recalculate and let's see if I put on a little bit of a bevel with this not boolean let's try bevel and I'll set it at three and uh, zero point 
zero one. We'll have that. I can shade smooth, and then I can add the uh, weighted normal and normals auto smooth. Um, you know, you can do as much detail as you want, and and I'm I, I don't want to do too too much on this. That's roughly how it's going to look. We could uh, let's just make sure I've got a bevel here. Okay, I don't like this bevel. Something went wrong when I did this bevel. So what I'm going to do. Uh, you can see this is a very flat edge. I'm going to delete. Maybe I just missed something. I'm going to grab that again, and I'm going to see. Okay, we have a problem. So recalculate outside and merge by distance. I got rid of a bunch of vertices. So yeah, I I did something, but I'm going to bevel it there, and I'm just I'll have a close look. Yeah, I think I had the same thing down here. So let's uh, come out here and just fix this stuff up. All right. Somebody said they wanted to see my mistakes as well. I should not edit them out and I don't I don't make too many mistakes but I do definitely make some I don't know we're never gonna see in there but and that that would be a waste I know nobody would ever do that and add more vertices there but I just did but uh, I think we got the same problem up here so yeah I did something and uh, now I'm fixing it up there that make it look a little bit smoother and we can shade smooth and probably have to add that modifier to it but I wasn't worried about that right yet uh, I think I'll just throw a quick cylinder in here and pretend it's a can candle um, and just make this like 16 vertices and even uh, nothing for now scale it down I just want to get a sense of what it looks like it looks like my polys just flipped there um, what I'll do is I will uh, fill that up, but I'll select it and recalculate it outside. I, I suppose I may use that as a candle, so I'll just give it a quick bevel and shade smooth so it looks even a little bit more like one. And uh, for the moment, I'm going to j uh, join all these. Do I have a bevel on here? Yeah, that's a problem with that. That's sometimes why I like to to do them by hand so I don't have to worry about this stuff you know I start applying this and then it's it's hard coded into it and I know the same goes for when I do a bevel by hand but I feel like I can control it a bit better um, so I'm going to take this now and scale it I will merge by distance just to be sure see I got rid of some recalculate outside um, in order to see what this is going to look like and then we'll leave it there I'm going to join this up so what have I got here? I, I'm going to join that, and I have a bevel here. I'm going to add, I can rebuild this really easily. I'm going to join that, and I'm going to actually join it to the arch so that we see what it looks like this way. Now, not all of these are going to be working. Some of them will be tilted a bit. One might be on the floor, but that's the general idea. I will probably move this all this stuff back in a little bit. But just to give you an idea of how it's starting to look. Okay, obviously we're going to have to do some work on this, change this, the scale of, of some of this. So maybe I can do a little bit of that right now actually as well. Okay, so I'm going to take that at control plus. Let's see, I'll get the rest of it. No, I'm going to leave the chain that size. So let's see what we can get here. So I should have all of the lantern. I'm going to scale like that, bring it up, and let's see what height I would want it to be. Something like that. Yeah, because I wanted it kind of around here, maybe halfway down. So I could wor I'll could work on the chain for that. In fact, maybe all we have to do is get rid of a couple of these links for now you know something like that these I'll change the size of I'll make them smaller we'll pull the lanterns in and we'll have a hook coming down from there and a hook to the to the lantern as well I think I'm going to like that a little bit more. 
and so I would be satisfied. In fact, that chain is not bad. It's not the, probably the way that I would want to do it, but let's uh, bring the 3D cursor there and end with this. Let's bring in a circle again. Uh, eight is what I want. Is eight what I want? No, I think six is what I want. Scale that down. And let's uh, rotate Y90 and rotate Z90. I just want to be able to see this thing. And actually, I'm going to rotate Y90 like that. Scale it down. Be like In like that. So you see, you're going to see this part. Okay, so let's focus on that. And let's uh, give this a little bit of thickness like this. And then I'm going to do an E and Alt S and pull in like that, that kind of thing. Okay, let's just focus on that with the slash key and we will recalculate. I think I can get rid of this stuff here. I'm gonna get rid of those vertices. That'll break it down to there. I could, uh, you know what, I'll, I'll scale Z zero to flatten those out. And then I'll take these edges here and I will add a little manual bevel, control B with just three, is that three? Yeah. And then I'll do all of all of the sides because I don't know what angle these are going to be in. And we'll do that. Yeah, got it. And shade smooth. And now I can take that and scale it a little bit. I think I'm going to scale this the axe a little bit. I think I'm going to rotate the Z90. I may. Scale them in the X, make it a bit more like that. Yeah, okay. And how far? Something like that. I think I'll take that and put it on the top of the lantern as well. Shift D. Rotate Y 180. And we'll put it on the lantern. Do I want it in the same orientation or the opposite orientation? like uh, that down like this and then I can adjust the chain uh, I think I'm gonna do it like that in which case that is gonna be joined to oh, I'm just gonna join it here I may have got all of them yeah well everything's joined now uh, let's uh, I may stick with that lantern but I might put glass in there uh, let's just box select a bunch of stuff okay. and um, let's pull this down a little bit come into the chain pull that down like that Now is that that's not quite the middle of the lantern like that. I might turn that, but that's kind of the thing. Now that's being propagated all along, and that's why I joined it so we could see. I'll have to break this out later. All right. And this is what we have. All right, and I would probably do my render from about you know there, but I'll change my camera to 35 millimeters or 38 millimeters or something like that um, yeah all right that's a good start there are more details coming but let's leave it at that and we'll get back to more modeling and uh, we'll see how much of this geometry we can keep. All right, thanks for watching. See you next time.